Hello, and welcome back to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and today we are going to do another spotlight on plugins. We're going to look at the very powerful, yet very simple, Move Rests plugin. Now, this is a plugin that comes with Finale, so you will all have this. It's in the plugin menu under the Note, Beam, and Rest editing section. And for this plugin, you do have to have something selected. So we go to Note, Beam, and Rest editing, and it's in the middle here. It's called Move Rests. Now, this is a very simple uh, function here, and what it does is exactly what it says. It moves the rests. It moves them vertically, not horizontally, uh, which is the key feature here. And again, it's a very simple window. You have the option to move the rests in whichever layer you want, either all layers or any particular layer. And you have two things here for the action. You can either move the rests or you can clear the manual positioning of rests. So we're going to talk about move rests first because this is the most, the main reason why you're going to use this plugin. And really what it does is it just moves the rest vertically. So uh, it will allow you to enter a number of steps here, and this can be either positive or negative. Positive numbers will move the rests upwards, and negative numbers will move the rest downwards. Now, I always suggest that you enter an even number of steps here, and there's a reason for that, uh, which I'll show you in a second. Now, I'm just going to, let me just zoom in here first a little bit so we can see this. Now, I'm just performing this on the uh, right hand here, uh, which is normally not what you do, but I just want to uh, illustrate how the plugin actually works. So we'll go over here to move rests, and I'm going to move my rests up two steps. So it's going to go up two steps on the staff, and you'll see that all of the rests in one sh shot moved up two steps. Now, I just want to show you why it's not a good idea to use an odd number of uh, steps. So move rests, and we're going to move one step upwards. Um, and you'll see the problem right away, particularly with the half rest, is that now it's, it's very confusing because that actually looks like a whole rest. Um, but we do know that it is a half rest, and you can kind of see the little wings on the bottom of it, so it is a half rest. But again, this is confusing. And anytime you move the rests uh, by an odd number of steps, you're going to have that problem. So uh, when you use this, uh, definitely uh, move by even numbers. We can move uh, negative 2 and you'll see that the rests will go downwards. Now again, this is not what you'd want to do on a staff like this where the rests are perfectly placed in the center as they should be. Where this is more useful is when you have uh, complicated things with layers where the rests are getting in the way. Now in this first system, these rests are pretty much fine. You can see that the rests are out of the way. They're in an appropriate spot. So what Finale does uh, automatically when you have multiple layers, uh, specifically when you have layers one and two present in the same measure, is that it will automatically float the rests upwards for layer one and downwards for layer two uh, by exactly six steps although this value can actually be changed within the uh, layers pane of the document options. Uh, in layers one, you can see floating rests adjusted by six steps. Uh, in layer two, negative two, uh, six steps. So these are actually customizable, but out of the box finale, we'll set these to positive and negative six uh, for these rests to float. Now this works in a lot of cases, maybe 75% of the cases, but in some cases where the, uh, the notes are either too low on the staff or too high, you can see the results um, here where the rests are not in ideal places. And in fact, the layer two rests are completely overlapping the layer one notes in these measures. So this is definitely a problem. And this is where this move rests plugin really comes in handy. Now uh, let's go back to that plugin. Note, beam, and rest, move rests. So we talked about we can move the all layers, which is what I was doing. And if you have rests in one layer, it doesn't matter whether or not you've got that particular layer or all layers selected. But in this case, I might want to do something different where I'm going to want to move the layer one rests differently than the layer two rests. So we can choose layer one. And I'm going to choose negative six in this case. Again, the six, the negative six will cancel out the positive six um, uh, floating values here. So if I do negative six, you'll see that uh, those rests will now get put in the center, which is a much better situation for those particular rests. And then we can run this again, move rests. And this time we'll just do for layer two. And maybe we don't need to go down a whole six steps. Maybe just negative four will be enough. And we click OK. 
And now you can see that these rests are in much better positions given where the notes are on the staff. And you can see that this is one operation. It does all four measures at once. So you don't have to, you know, go in with speedy entry or simple entry and, you know, go in, oops, go in here and, uh, you know, manually move the rests or something. You don't really need to do that. So um, it, much easier to use the plugin. Now there's a couple other options in there that I just want to talk about. Actually, what I'm going to do is insert a measure here, just a blank measure. Select these measures, plugins, move rests. Um, this little sub option here, create a movable real rest in empty measures. As you probably know, when you have empty measures in Finale, these uh, whole rests, oops, um, these whole rests are not uh, real rest. In fact, if you go into speedy entry, it's blank. You can create a real rest by pressing 7 to actually create a real rest. Um, but there is a difference in finale between a real rest and a default whole rest. So right now this is a default whole rest. But when you move rests, you can't move a default whole rest. So you would have to use the, uh, the plugin if you really wanted to move that whole rest. Let's say we're going to do uh, all layers here. We're going to move this up four steps. Um, if I create movable real rests in empty measures and click OK, it's going to do just that. And now you can see that you will be able to move that whole rest up four steps. Without that option checked, it will leave that measure alone. And it will move everything except that whole rest. So that whole rest will remain uh, exactly where it is. It's a uh, sometimes useful uh, thing to do. Um, there are, you know, certainly uses for it to have that checked or not checked. And then the, uh, the second action here, clear manual positioning, um, with the sub option, erase shifted whole rests uh, entirely. Um, these two things will literally just reset everything. So if I were to go back here where I made all of these changes and go into my note uh, beams and rest editing and choose clear manual positioning, it will return those rests back to their default positions, which is again the floating plus six and minus six positions for layers one and two. And uh, in the situation of that little sub option there, let's see if we do this. If we run this plugin here one more time with the create movable rests, right? Um, running that plugin with that sub option checked for the uh, clear manual positioning. Again, when I did this, this created a, a real rest, a movable real rest. So if I wanted to delete that so it's a regular uh, default whole rest, I would have to have this option checked. And you'll see that now that turned from a real rest into a default whole rest, which you'll know because you won't actually see it in the speedy entry here. So yeah, that's what's going on. I'm just going to show you one more uh, practical use for this. So this is something you may do if you're using uh, rhythm instruments. Now this is a piano part, but something like this line right here might very easily be seen in a drum part as well. And um, I'm going to uh, put in a uh, staff style that I created for this file called slash with showing uh, layers one, two, and three notes uh, to show you what happens. The slashes um, will get in the way of those default positions for those rests, which is not ideal. And again, these rests will only float if layers one and two are present. And because I'm only using layer one uh, in these measures, the rests are just going to take their center position, which is exactly what they should do. So when you have a situation like this, you do want to um, use that, uh, that move rest plugin to move those rests out of the way. And in this case, I'm going to choose, uh, it doesn't matter, all layers and we're going to go eight steps. And in this case, I do have some empty measures, so I can decide whether or not I want to actually see that whole rest up here. The slashes are actually going to cover the default whole rest. So if you choose create movable real rests in empty measures, it will put a whole rest up there. If you don't choose that, uh, it will just ignore this measure. So let's see what happens if we choose that. We're going to move the rests eight steps up. And you can see that it will actually create that whole rest. Now this is, uh, you know, obviously a much uh, cleaner looking situation for uh, a chart that would look like this. Again, if I did that without that sub option checked, uncheck the movable rest option, you can see that it will um, move all the other rests, but then leave that uh, measure blank and this one blank as well. So a couple different options, a couple different ways to do this. And uh, so yeah, so that is the uh, move rest plugin. Really kind of simple. Oh, you do have to have something selected. And uh, really kind of simple, but again, really powerful. And especially when you start thinking about 
you know, eight, 16, 20 some odd bars of, of these rests. If you had to move all those rests one at a time, oh man, how much time is that going to take? But this little simple little plugin to move the rests vertically is just going to be uh, a real time saver for you. All right, so that's it. It's very simple. The move rest, it comes with Finale, so you all should have it. And yeah, that's all there is to it. All right, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you soon on the next video.